A new survey on the nation's tap waters found millions of Americans are unknowingly drinking water containing cancer-linked chemicals. But are there enough chemicals to be dangerous? It depends on who you ask. The president of the EWG says the Environmental Protection Agency's Office of Groundwater and Drinking Water has demonstrated for decades that it is utterly incapable of standing up to the pressure from water utilities and polluters to protect human health from the dozens of toxic contaminants in America's drinking water. The EPA has acknowledged a cancer risk for one of the substances in question, but that's based on the numbers published in 1993. It's also based on a lifetime of exposure, depending on how much of the chemical you are exposed to. We sat down with KUB's acting manager of laboratory and regulatory compliance. He says these contaminants are not a shock to him. There is nothing in the report that we do not report to our customers in our annual water quality report. Kevin Keaton points out none of the compounds in the report exceed state or federal levels. He also says EPA scientists are constantly reanalyzing their own regulations. The way that our um, requirements for drinking water are established, they use science-based research to make sure that there's really a need there for a limit, that there's truly a health concern. Greg Jones with the Clinton Utilities Board feels those with EWG do not understand the logistics of what reaching their standards would look like. Technical feasibility of uh, achieving those uh, guidelines or and the cost of treatment for it uh, under EPA and the state of Tennessee guidelines that they have in place for us now, which is not harmful to public health. Jones and Keaton say customers need to know their companies are going above and beyond to keep them and everyone in their home safe.